How to Use Your INFJ Supernatural Instincts In this video, we'll be talking about how to use your INFJ supernatural instincts. Are you an INFJ? Are you wondering why you have supernatural instincts that allow you insight into different situations that other people don't possess? Are you wondering why the INFJ in your life can sense things from a mile away? If you're an INFJ and you want to know how to use your supernatural instinct to its full capacity, then this video is for you. The INFJ's dominant function is their introverted intuition, also known as NI. This function allows them to experience supernatural intuitive abilities that make them different from other personality types. Every personality type has a level of intuition, but the INFJ's introverted intuition sets them apart from other types. What are these supernatural abilities and how can you use your INFJ supernatural instincts? In this video, we'll be discussing how to use your INFJ's supernatural instincts. So you have to stick to the end, as every point is important. Before we go on, kindly like this video and subscribe to this channel if you've not done so already. Also, click on the little notification bell so you never miss another video. Let's dive right in. Number 1. You can immediately tell when something's not right. As an INFJ, your intuition instantly tells you when something's not right or when something seems shady. While the other personality types might take time to figure out the situation, you instantly get a feeling that something's not right. It could be a toxic friendship or a sketchy business deal. It could even be a feeling while you're in a particular environment. You can use your supernatural instinct to tell when something's not right and get out of the situation immediately. You need to stop doubting your intuitive guide and allow your intuition to tell you when something doesn't seem right. It might not be correct all the time, but it's correct most times. This superpower allows you to steer clear of dangerous situations and toxic people. As an INFJ, you don't need all the details or extra convincing before you see right through toxicity. Number 2. You can tell when someone needs help. Being an INFJ, your strong intuition coupled with your deep empathic nature allows you to tell when other people need help. You can tell when even the most seemingly happy people are suffering on the inside. You can also sense when toxic people are trying to play the victim by selling a sob story to manipulate you or other people. Your superpowers allow you to sense who really needs your help and who you need to stay far away from. Because of your deep empathic nature, you tend to be kind and compassionate to everyone that comes your way. But the truth is, not everyone deserves this and it could also lead to a serious empath burnout. Your intuition works as a guide for your empathy to help you decipher where to direct your kindness and warmth. This makes you a true friend to those who are deserving as you can take time out to be there for them and help them through their struggles while it also helps you to know those who are just trying to take advantage of you. Number 3. You can help someone that's on the verge of breaking down. Just like you can sense when someone around you that seems happy is actually suffering deep down, you can also tell when someone is on the verge of breaking down. This comes from your intuition and also from a place of experience. Because you've been in that burnout space so many times, it's all too familiar. You can tell when someone that can't say no and takes up all the responsibilities is about to break down mentally because you can see all the signs in this other person like you see in yourself. Your intuition and experience will help you identify this person and you can help the person out by making them realize what's going on and offering solutions to help them out of this burnout stage. Number 4. You can easily avoid conflict with your supernatural instinct. Your supernatural instinct helps you to know how other people are feeling. And because you avoid conflict at all costs, 
You can tell when the person you're communicating with is starting to get angry. This instinct also helps you to become a better communicator because you can sense when someone's anger may take over the situation, and you can immediately try to change the narrative and amend the situation. You can use your supernatural instinct to understand other people's behavior and better judge them based on the emotions they're feeling rather than jumping to conclusions about who that person is. This instinct will also help you communicate with others in a calm and understanding manner. You can also use your supernatural instincts to avoid anger and conflict. Because you can tell how people around you are feeling, you can easily take control of the situation if you sense conflict brewing. You can ease the situation and avoid the conflict. Number 5. You can tell what other people are feeling. With introverted intuition as your main function, you are several steps ahead of other personality types who use logic as their main function when it comes to feelings and emotions. You can easily see beyond other people's words and actions and know what they're actually feeling. Because you understand people on a deeper level, you can easily read their energies and tell what they're feeling before they even say anything. Even the slightest shift in energy can tell you that something is up. You can use this insight to either effectively communicate with the other person and try to figure out why there's a shift in energy, or you can use this insight to remove yourself from the situation that's not good for you. For example, you can tell when your partner is no longer interested in the relationship even before your partner makes up their mind or tells you about it. Then you can decide to either work through things or leave the relationship. Number 6. You can tell if something aligns with your purpose. Your supernatural instinct will help you know if what you're currently doing aligns with the vision or purpose you have for your life. Even if you can't exactly tell what this purpose in life is, your instinct will tell you when something is not in line with your purpose. Your hunch will tell you that this particular thing is not what you should be doing in life, and if it doesn't feel right, no amount of money or opinions can change your mind. The opportunities that other personality types might just settle with will never be enough for you. As an INFJ, you will not just settle for whatever life throws at you, even if it looks like a wonderful opportunity to every other person. Your supernatural instinct will help you live a fulfilling and happy life, where you're doing what is in line with your purpose instead of being frustrated and unhappy because you're stuck doing what's not for you. You may make some of life's decisions that seem strange to the average person, but your intuition will guide you to make the best decisions for yourself. Number 7. You can make decisions without external influence. Because of your supernatural instincts, you can make difficult decisions without any form of external opinion or influence. Just like you can tell when something does not align with your purpose, your intuition might have you make some difficult decisions that might seem strange to other people. Unlike some other people who might need external validation in their lives, you can easily use your instincts to make the best decisions for your life without caring what other people think or needing their opinions. If you keep fighting your intuition because of what other people are saying or the fear of being judged, you'll soon become overwhelmed, burdened, dissatisfied, and completely frustrated until you finally make the decision without taking external opinions into consideration. Number 8. You can find meaning in symbols and dreams. As an INFJ, your personality type is said to be one of the most naturally spiritually in-tune types, and your introverted intuition plays a major role in this belief. Your strong, instinctive nature makes you find meaning in things like repetitive patterns, reoccurring dreams, repetitive numbers, and strange interactions that other people might deem a coincidence. You can use your supernatural instinct to connect patterns and events, 
and this will subconsciously help you have insight into what is yet to come. Number 9. You can deeply assess concepts before accepting them. As an INFJ, you're constantly finding a deeper meaning to alternative motive behind structures and concepts. You're naturally skeptical about things until you've had enough time to thoroughly assess every possible angle. Your instinct helps you to deeply assess concepts before accepting them. You won't take anything at face value or just conform to beliefs or values without fully understanding them. It will be difficult for other people to convince you of a concept or idea because you won't conform without asking questions and analyzing them thoroughly. So you take things that are important to you, like your spirituality and education, into your own hands because you can't just conform to society's flawed standards. Number 10. You can receive sudden insights. By spending a lot of time in your own world, you can receive out-of-the-blue insights to not just your own thoughts but also to the issues of your loved ones. These insights will come to you when you're just sitting and thinking on the spot because most of the intuitive processes happen subconsciously. A clear answer to your questions will appear when you least expect it. You can use this insight to solve your questions and the problems of other people around you. There you have it. How to use your INFJ supernatural instincts. If you're an INFJ and you have other ways to use this instinct, kindly share them with us in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel. If you liked this topic, we have other videos for you to enjoy on the screen. You can click one to watch now. Bye for now.